Let's see how we can install Laravel and create our first Laravel project in Windows 11. For the sake of this tutorial, I have assumed that you have already installed PHP using XAMPP. If you have not installed XAMPP, click on the first link in the description and you will see how you can install XAMPP. After that, we will need to install Composer and Laravel. So first, let's type get Composer in Google. And you need to click on this first result. So the URL is getcomposer.org. Now, as you can see, it is a dependency manager for PHP. It means you can download any dependency, any library of PHP using Composer. So first, let's download this. Let's click on this and it will start downloading. It is complete now. Open this setup file. Now it is opened. So I'll install it for all users. Now, no need to check this. Leave it as it is. Click on next. And this is the PHP that will be used by Composer in XAMPP. So it is fine. Click next. Click next. So these are the details. We will not be using any proxy. No need to do this. And this is the PHP that will be used by Composer. So if you have XAMPP installed, you will also be using this only. But if you have installed PHP without XAMPP, this will be the path of your PHP executable. Click install. Okay, Composer is installed. Let's verify it. Press your Windows key and type CMD. And let's type Composer. So as you can see, Composer is installed. The version is 2.5.8. Now that our Composer is installed, we will create a Laravel project and run it. First, go to your required directory. As you can see, I'm here inside Vishal, but uh, let me go back, go back again. So I will create a new folder inside C drive so that it is easier to access for you right now. So the command is Composer create project. So we will be creating a project. We will be creating a Laravel project right laravel slash laravel and your project name and let's say laravel project let's write my in front of this and hit enter so now as you can see composer is creating a laravel laravel project at this folder so it will take some time it will install dependencies download laravel and do all the required stuff so after quite some time, it probably took me around 10 minutes to download everything. It is now asking me to remove the existing VCS history. So you can press Y or N, does not matter. So I'll just click N and hit enter again. Finally, our project is ready and our Laravel is installed after quite some time. So if I go to my C drive here now, and as you can see, my Laravel project is ready and inside I have all the Laravel setup done for me. I'll go back to my command line. I'll go inside my Laravel project. And here, if I press PHP artisan serve, as you can see, it is saying that PHP server is running in this. Control and click on this. It is opening now. And as you can see, my Laravel project is running. So you can modify the files inside this. You can create your own project and you can Again, run using PHP Artisan Serve, and then you go here. You will see your project, not this default project by Laravel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.